Five day showcase of Western women horsemanship art and more is happening right now and it's going down in Queen Creek. Yeah, I mean, look at her go. It's really cool and it draws a crowd for sure. The art of the cowgirl. It also raises funds supporting emerging artists in the industry. So we want to turn to 12 News journalist Jen Wall. She's joining us live from Queen Creek this morning with a peek inside. Good morning, Jen. Yeah, good morning to you guys. So I got to go inside of the arena with the Liberty Horse Trainer, and it's really incredible what she does. Her horse is even performing on TV and movies. You can catch her throughout this week and the weekend here at Art of the Cowgirl, and all of the events kick off in just a few hours at 9 a.m. this morning. Good boy. Horse trainer and world's greatest horseman competitor, Nikki Flundra. Good boy. Is bringing her 15 years of training to the desert for Art of the Cowgirl. It's just a beautiful thing to celebrate um, the culture of the cowgirl and everything that they represent. Flundra also bringing her longtime Liberty horse training skills to the valley. Horsemanship that is free of any uh, lines or reins or bridles, saddles. The horse is um, basically just in their purest, freest form. She's demonstrating part of her performance, which she will bring to the Queen Creek Arena this weekend. It's a form of horsemanship um, that really uses a lot of um, of body language and a lot uh, you have to have a really good connection with your horse to to do it for flundra this art of the cowgirl event is extra special too as she will also be paying tribute to founder tammy pate who lost her battle with cancer at the end of last month she impacted a lot of people's lives a lot of cowgirls lives and we're just so fortunate to have um, her be such a champion of the cowgirl. Flundra says she's planning something special during her Saturday night performance, honoring Pate's Art of the Cowgirl vision with her Liberty horsework. Okay, so you heard it right there. You can catch her Saturday night. Tickets are still available at artofthecowgirl.com. And there are so many more events going on today through Sunday from educational clinics to rodeo, even competitions. So much to see. If you have some free time, it is a really great event to check out. Coming up live in one hour at 6.45 a.m., we talk with Tammy Pate's late husband, or her husband rather, and he tells me about her memory and how they are planning to honor her throughout this weekend. That again, coming up at 645. Now we're live in Queen Creek, Jen Walt, 12 News Today.